good afternoon. You have found me. It's uh, Rooftop Trombone in the Age of COVID-19. And today is day number 99. Sorry, that's probably too close, isn't it? Anyway, yes, 99 days in a row playing this, uh, well, not always this trombone. I've got another, another trombone I've played several times. Um, hi, my name is Don Bowyer. I am the Dean of the School of Arts at Sunway University in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, where we offer amazing arts degrees. Come join us for an arts degree in music, or in theater, or in film production, or in interior architecture, or graphic design, design communication it's called, or in communication. Uh, uh, advertising, public relations, and and corporate communication. Anyway, plus, you know, the university has other programs too, but it's the School of Arts programs you should be most interested in. Anyway, um, Sunway University, as I mentioned, is in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. It's fun to say, Kuala Lumpur. Say it. It's fun, isn't it? Kuala Lumpur. Anyway, uh, Malaysia's been on a lockdown for 99 days. That's a lot of days. Uh, we'll hit 100 tomorrow. How about that? Uh, and as I explain every episode of this uh, stream, uh, on day number one, I went outside on my rooftop and played trombone and talked for a little bit for 10, 15 minutes or so and promised to do the same every day for as long as our movement control order lasted. Um, the movement, the, strictly speaking, that movement control order lasted 49 days. Uh, seven weeks exactly, but then we changed from movement control order to conditional movement control order, which uh, was a slight relaxation, um, and that lasted for 35 days, five more, seven, five more weeks, 35 days, but that turned into a recovery movement control order which has lasted now for another 15 days, and that takes us up to today. You're all caught up. Um, this recovery movement control order technically is going to last until August 31. Well, when I committed to playing for until the MCO ended, I, I thought it was going to be 14 days. That was the initial announcement. 14 days. Um, so I've been scrambling, and I've managed to come up with something to play, and, and managed to spend five minutes practicing each each piece uh, most days um, but uh, now that we're in this recovery movement control order and many more things are happening and students are still not at the university they are being taught by online by, by remote teaching the zoom and the teams and the blackboard um, yeah I'll, I'll write a song about that one day anyway uh, but we are doing a lot of meetings and things at the university now, and it's become very difficult for me to continue doing this. So, with that in mind, I'm giving you five, plenty of advance notice. The daily rooftop trombone will end next Tuesday, June the 30th. Um, and uh, which will be exactly 105 days or 15 weeks. And I call enough. Uh, I cry uncle. Uh, but anyway. During this time, I've really enjoyed doing this, and it's not over yet. What is today, Wednesday? I've got six more days. Uh, so, uh, but, but uh, I've really enjoyed doing this. It's been cathartic for me. I hope it's been a release for some of you also. Um, and today in particular, I, this is a, uh, today, I, you know, I, that probably wasn't the, the correct introduction for it, but, but today is a, is a very sad day. Um, Although, actually, it's been sad for almost two weeks now, and I just wasn't allowed to talk about it yet. Uh, but uh, one of my closest friends in the world passed away 12 days ago from COVID-19 in Sweden. Um, and it has made me very sad. And uh, so his family asked me to wait a little bit before I, before I mentioned anything and before I played anything online. But... Uh, Yesterday, uh, I, I, I got the go-ahead. So I'm going to play three tunes today dedicated to Roger, or Roger, uh, in Swedish. 
Um, he was a very special person. We're all going to miss him. The whole world is going to miss him. So the first tune I'm going to play for you is an old jazz, well actually it's an old Swedish folk song that became a bit of a jazz standard in the 1950s. Um, and the Swedish folk song was called Ak Värmland du Sjöna, which means, oh, Värmland, that's a part of Sweden, that's like a, a, stay, a region, like, so, anyway, one of, one of Sweden's states, Värmland, on the western side, near the mountains and, and uh, Norway and all that. Um, anyway, du Sjöna means you, you beautiful, you, oh, oh, war, the beautiful Värmland. And like I say, in the 1950s, this became a bit of a jazz standard. It was recorded by jazz musicians uh, from Stan Getz to Miles Davis to uh, John Coltrane. Um, and I'm going to play it today, Dear Old Stockholm. <laughs> earlier today, and apparently it didn't get saved. I apologize. Um, that's not the tempo I want it to be at. Um, sorry about that. Be with you in just a second. The band doesn't take in direction very well. So once again, I think this is a more appropriate tempo for today. Um, dear old Stockholm. Thank <laughs> you. 
said that's dedicated to a, just a terrific person good friend thank you thank you very much good friend um, Roga. I'm gonna do another one that's also a Swedish folk song and it's it really is kind of sad but that's why I wanted to do it because I feel kind of sad and I'm sorry if I bring your day down I apologize in advance for all this but um, I wanted to play a, a, an old Swedish folk song called Vem kan segla förutom vind, which translates as, who can sail without the wind? Let me read the lyrics to you in English. Who can sail without wind? Who can row without oars? Who can part from his friend without shedding a tear? And the next verse is, I can sail without wind, I can row without oars, but I cannot part from my friend without a tear. And that's uh, Vim Consigla for Roger. Thank you. 
Um, I considered it closing the program with that tune, and I decided no. The programmer in me says we've got to finish with an upbeat tune. So, uh, so this next one, the final one, is a, a jazz tune by a composer, a guitar player, by a guitar player named Barney Kessel, um, who composed this piece called Swedish Pastry, and. Uh, Years and years and years and years and years ago, actually before I lived in Sweden, when I was visiting there, I, I lived in, I don't know if I've mentioned this recently, I lived in Sweden for a couple of years. Uh, Roger and his family are, are like my family. They, they took me in when I moved there, they took care of me, they, uh, and we've been close ever since. Um, anyway, before I moved there, when I was visiting as a, as a musician, I, I found this tune and I did an arrangement of it for a big band which I used to play on the bass trombone with a trumpet player. You, you remember I talked yesterday about the, uh, the Swedish trumpet player named Nisse? He and I used to play this together. Um, we were both younger then, and I could play faster then. He probably still can. Anyway, uh, it might be a little bit slower, Nisse. And I, and I might miss half the notes. You know, the great thing about doing this as a duet was if, I'm, if I didn't play a note, I could just sort of ghost a note, and the trumpet player would cover it for me. He's not here today, so it's all on me. Um, and it might work, it might not, I don't know. We'll just see. Um, but it's called Swedish Pastry. It's a, a blues, and I hope you like it. We'll drown out that construction. Band is generating tracks as we speak. <laughs> Little guitar love here. Thank you. Anyway, Roger, that's for you, guy. Um, wherever you are, our hearts go out to you um, and to your family, special people. Anyway, thanks so much for being here today and indulging my sadness.